Abraham Lincoln did not set a single slave free. I was hoping you'd say that. Abraham Lincoln did not set a single slave free. Study the slave revolts in Haiti. Now that's liberty. Picture Harriet Tubman traveling back into the belly of the beast to help someone escape, but they're trying to say it's really not that bad and that she can just go ahead and let them be in slavery. But it wasn't times like these that she would put a gun in their face and say, get up, now we are leaving this place. You may be enslaved, but you ain't no one's slave. Now you will be free or you will die because time, it is ticking and this gun, it is loaded. Decide, this is a true story. How you think her brother got free? Y'all ever heard of John Brown? John Brown organized open and armed rebellions against the federal government and anyone else that supported the institution of slavery. That's why John Brown is known as the father of American terrorism, for he was a white person challenging imperialism. But unfortunately, these weren't my bedtime stories. Instead, I was put to sleep with tales of Abraham Lincoln, always failing to mention how he was actually thinking and said, <coughs> If I could save the Union without freeing a single slave, I would do so. Yeah. I am not now, nor will I ever be, for the social or political equality of the white and black races. So I guess there's some miseducation in our understanding of history. Because I don't know about you, but they never told me how African slaves rebelled each and every day in brilliant and unlimited ways. I mean, tell me this. Why was drumming outlawed if it wasn't screaming freedom out loud? Africans on plantations from all different nations would form community identities and rebellion and protection against slavery. Now maybe if we knew this history, we better understand what Tupac Shakur wanted thug life to be. For Pac developed thug life around Black Panthers who taught him that traditionally a thuggy is any person in India who opposes British oppression and slavery. Now, it is a beautiful concept proposed, but without education, this component of thug life remains hidden and buried like dead bodies shot by thugs' guns, demonstrating the consequences of mental slavery with each slug slung. But these are merely just the chain reactions of emulating the heroes we were given, not realizing these very heroes can't stand the fact that you are living. I am living. Where is our knowledge of people like Noble Juali, Huey P, Audrey Lord, Marcus Garvey saying, up you mighty race, David Walker's appeal that we pick up the pace while Malcolm X is telling right to their face and Asada Shakur is being offered a safe place. Langston Hughes making you proud of your beautiful QI, Maya Angelou saying, yo, I know why that cage bird sings. Steve Biko and Queen Candace trying to fight the madness while Billie Holiday and John Coltrane sing us through the sadness. Now picture Kwame and Kuma in your mind, because he's trying to remind capitalism is merely just the gentleman's version of slavery. <laughs> so you see to me, Abraham Lincoln did not set a single slave free. Freedom is Harriet Tubman putting that gun in your face saying, what will it be? Freedom or death? Peace.